सेव किया था ना मैं सिर्फ इसलिए गया था क्योंकि उसने मुझे कॉल किया दैट्स इट बट लिसन तो सेव इट फॉर समवन एल्स जिंदगी में सेव करना जरूरी है मगर जब बात पैसों की हो सिर्फ सेविंग से काम नहीं चलेगा इक्विटी म्यूचुअल फंड्स में इन्वेस्ट कीजिए और अपने सेविंग्स को आगे बढ़ने का मौका दीजिए म्यूचुअल फंड इन्वेस्टमेंट्स आर सब्जेक्ट टू मार्केट रिस्क रीड ऑल स्कीम रिलेटेड डॉक्यूमेंट्स केयरफुली बिल्डिंग अमन कॉलोनी इन स्पेस बी इट द मून और मार्स is the next frontier in space technology with researchers across the world working on different aspects of making it possible to sustain such a colony to that end a team of scientists from MIT have successfully used an instrument the size of a lunch box to produce oxygen on mars In this video I talk about how scientists managed to produce oxygen nearly 100 million miles away from earth I am Mohana Basu and this is pure science on the red and dusty surface of mars a small instrument can now reliably do the work of a small tree the mars oxygen in situ resource utilization experiment or moxi has been successfully making oxygen from the red planet's carbon dioxide rich atmosphere since february 2021 when it touched down on the martian surface as part of nasa's perseverance rover mission Perseverance is a car-sized Mars rover designed to explore the Jezero crater on the red planet that was launched on 30th July 2020 and made a landing on Mars on 18 February 2021. Now, in a study published in the journal Science Advances, researchers report that by the end of 2021, Moxie was able to produce oxygen on seven experimental runs in a variety of atmospheric conditions including during the day and night. The device worked through different Martian seasons. In each run, the instrument reached its target of producing 6 grams of oxygen per hour, about the rate of a modest tree on Earth. The team believed that a scaled-up version of Moxie could be sent to Mars ahead of a human mission to continuously produce oxygen at the rate of several hundred trees. at that capacity the system should generate enough oxygen to both sustain humans once they arrive and fuel a rocket for returning astronauts back to earth this is an important achievement because one of the reasons that humans want to set up a colony on mars is to have an outpost that acts as a refueling station for travel deeper into space so moxie's steady output is a promising first step toward that goal The research has helped scientists gain the experience required to inform future systems that will operate at larger scales. Moxie's oxygen production on Mars is also the first ever demonstration of in situ resource utilization. This involves harvesting and using a planet's available materials to make resources that otherwise as I said before would have to be transported from Earth. In this case the device used carbon dioxide present on Mars to make a useful resource that is oxygen. According to the team this is historic because this is the first demonstration of actually using resources on the surface of another planetary body and transforming them chemically into something that would be useful for a human mission. The current version of Moxie was built to fit aboard the Perseverance rover and to run for short periods, starting up and shutting down with each run depending on the rover's exploration schedule and mission responsibilities. In contrast, a full-scale oxygen factory would include larger units that would ideally run continuously. Despite the compromises in Moxie's current design, the instrument has shown that it can reliably and efficiently convert Mars atmosphere into pure oxygen. First, the instrument draws the Martian air in through a filter that cleans it of contaminants. The air is then pressurized and sent through the solid oxide electrolyzer, an instrument that splits the carbon dioxide rich air into oxygen ions and carbon monoxide. The oxygen ions are then isolated and recombined to form breathable molecular oxygen or O2, which Moxie then measures for quantity and purity before releasing back into the air along with carbon monoxide and other atmospheric gases. 
Since the rover's landing in February 2021, MOXIE engineers have started up the instrument seven times throughout the Martian year, each time taking a few hours to warm up, then another hour to make oxygen before powering it back down. Each run was scheduled for a different time of the day or night, and in different seasons to see whether MOXIE could accommodate shifts in the planet's atmospheric conditions. The atmosphere of Mars is far more variable than Earth. The density of the air varies throughout the year and the temperature can vary by 100 degrees. One objective is to show that the instrument can run in all seasons. So far, MOXIE has shown that it can make oxygen at almost any time of the Martian day and year. However, the team is yet to demonstrate that the instrument can run at dawn or dusk when the temperature is changing substantially. As MOXIE continues to churn out oxygen on Mars, engineers plan to push its capacity and increase its production, particularly in the Martian spring, when atmospheric density and carbon dioxide levels are high. They will also monitor the system for signs of wear and tear. As MOXIE is just one experiment among several aboard the Perseverance rover, it cannot run continuously as a full-scale system would. Instead, the instrument must start up and shut down with each run, a thermal stress that can degrade the system over time. If MOXIE can operate successfully despite repeatedly turning on and off, this would suggest that a full-scale system designed to run continuously could do so for thousands of hours. This is Mohana Basu, Assistant Editor at The Print. If you like our work, do consider paying for a subscription to The Print. You can do so through the link in the description box below.